All right, so we're out at Pops Ferry Crossing. Uh, it's a park with it uh, in Biloxi, uh, reasonably new park. Uh, it's out by the back bay of Biloxi, and today we're gonna kind of go over the Mimo app and the Osmo Pocket when connected together. Um, what features and options you kind of have available within it yet. Power on the Osmo. There we go. Phone recognizes it. Automatically connects to the camera. Oh, here we go. So within the the app you get uh, the option for selecting between video, photo, panorama, and time lapse and slow motion. And as you can see, you see the change in the gimbal uh, moving the camera. So if we were to take a photo, we'd simply hit the photo button, panorama, And eventually it stops processing. There we go. And there's the panorama image. Um, some of the basic options you have here are the same <clears throat> or similar to what you have within the Osmo Pocket uh, through the LCD screen of it. So you have a recenter option right there. As you can see, change it. Recent, so this is uh, for flipping the camera around. <laughs> yeah. Uh, over here, you have a home button, a battery indicator, SD card indicator. The micro SD card, um, get your um, gimbal options so it's tilt lock and how fast the gimbal is going to actually adjust the changes you make. So if we turn it on fast, follow, you can see the difference between it and the slow follow. Slow follow is more cinematic. Uh, the purpose of the fast follow would be for fast moving subjects and when you're making a lot of quick movements uh, and you want the camera to respond quickly. Here we've got resolution. It's set at 4K 60p. Just like that. See the different options there. On 4K you've got 30 frames second versus uh, 60. Uh, you don't get super fine quality option at 4K but it comes up. You've got 1080, 30 and as soon as you get a 60 frames per second super fine option goes away. As you can see on 4K whether it's 30p or 60p you, uh, you're not going to get the super fine option. There you get to choose your video format, MP4 versus MOV, anti-flicker option which you also have uh, available to change within the Osmo Pocket through the LCD screen.
put it on. Get your zebra stripes. See what's going to get blown out in, in, in your image. Uh, if something's too o is overexposed, you get those lines like you see in the top right there. Under Pro Options, while video is selected, you get again video format and a choice between changing to various options for wide balance. Changing the volume, noise reduction on or off, quit on or off, zebra stripes forever exposed, histogram on or off, focus mode autofocus continuous, autofocus single. And that's it under the pro menu option there. You're going to get slightly different options, of course, for photo. Uh, for this option, you have uh, your firmware version listed, uh, the capacity, every SD card, maximum capacity, as well as the current uh, usage, uh, space you use on that card, and you get the option to format it. So, get a photo. Auto settings, uh, shutter speed, ISO, manual, here we get to manually set your ISO, frame rate, oh, excuse me, shutter. is for <clears throat> and this is for your time lapse 30 second uh, interval general is the same calibration option settings there here under pro you get your JPEG or JPEG plus raw and change to 4x3, 3x2 or 16x9. You still have an anti-flicker option, glamour effects, off, low or medium, turn the grid on or off. And zebra stripes for overexposed histogram turning it on and off the same thing uh, as in video you get auto focus continuous and auto focus single under basic it's just going to be your aspect ratio anti flicker up uh, 50 hertz to 60 hertz glamour effects grid on or off and zebra stripes on or off video so you can walk around with it like this uh, the downside is you kind of have to make sure you've got at least a little bit of pressure on this to ensure that it stays uh, this connector stays plugged into the lining port it's supported enough that you can something let go of it and it'll stay there uh, but if you're moving around a lot um, this could eventually come out. It's it's fairly sturdy. Um, it makes a good connection. So I wouldn't be worried too much about that. But anyway, from here you can do, uh, do your recordings. And same button. Take photos. 
our panoramas, some uh, slow, slow motion, as well as uh, time lapse. And so once you start recording, you got up here. You got your um, show better. You got your time counter as well as your microphone volume level meter. And so far that's uh, basically it. I have not upgraded the latest firmware. As you can see that they've got a new version of it. Um, go to home and go through that and update it on this. And that's pretty much it. Um, I'm sure DJI is going to come out with more features and options over time. They'll update the Mimo app. They'll update the firmware for the Osmo Pocket. Yeah, but Right now that's with the firmware version I have, um, that's pretty much what you get so far. So kind of looking forward to new updates in the future to the Mimo app. I don't often plug it into a phone uh, and use it like this because it's just kind of big. So uh, more often than not, I'm using it by itself with this not connected to the phone. I don't have an Android phone to be able to show you on an Android uh, OS, but it should be similar to what you're seeing right here. And that's basically it. I uh, hope this video helps. Um, if it does, um, consider subscribing. Uh, click the like button. Uh, if you if you subscribe, you can choose the bell icon. Uh, it will notify you of new videos that are uploaded. Until next time, have a good day.